Hi, I'm Diane Dayton. We're at the 33rd annual Boz Cobbs Burks Jazz Fest here in Reading, Pennsylvania, and I'm catching up with the one and only J.J. San Severino, the Energizer Bunny. What a great guitarist, and life is good, isn't it? Life is great. Life is great. Life is great. Yeah. Really the music, is. sharing your wife, you know, everything is really good. I, I, I can't complain about anything. I'm grateful that I get to make people happy every day. That's the, that's the end of the story, you know? Yeah. And there's something here we're going to promote today is the release of Love Can't Wait. So if you see him or if you see Sharon, make sure that you uh, zoom in on this. And scan it and you yep. can get it right to your phone. Yep. You know? So Love Can't Wait. How did you come up with that title Do and you know, what's it all about? Because one of the things that I really like to promote on stage, off stage, all the time is the fact that in our lives these days there's really not anything that's still for free mm. and love is something that we have an abundance of which is for free yeah. so we can never be stingy with our love when we have something which is so important mm. that we can give away free yeah. and now in the world we're living in we need love now more than we ever needed I, I believe so yeah. Love definitely can't wait any longer. So that's the yeah. song just says it all. Love can't wait. Let's wow. get it going, you know. Yeah, and you've got a lot of love in your life, don't you? I do. I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy. I've had ups and downs throughout my life, and you know, we, we all have moments where we're at the top of the uh, the mountaintop, and then mm -hmm. sometimes we're in the valley. And it's important to be in the valley because you know you can only go up. Yeah. Right. When you get to the peak, sometimes you, you gotta come down. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to be able to enjoy the peak, too, mm -hmm. and the whole journey of going up and down. You yeah, know? right. Well, you are here at Burke's, and tell us what you're going to be playing. You're doing some of the jams, right? Yeah, so this is, um, I've been really getting, you know, uh, a lot of different kinds of calls for gigs lately. Mm -hmm. And um, so when John and Esso invited me to come do the Midnight Jams with Gerald Veasley, yeah. it's a no-brainer, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And Gerald is what, I admire him so much, and mm -hmm. he's become a good friend, and... And so, yeah, we're here tonight to, yeah. to light it up. It's really not the midnight jam. It starts at 1130. Right, so. but it runs way past. <laughs> but it runs past midnight. <laughs> yeah, way past midnight. Yeah, it is. So that's tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah. Well, the energy that's on stage with the artists that are there with these jams, it's just amazing, isn't it? It's fun. Yeah. Part of that is that it's, we have this great, our smooth jazz family. I say this is another thing. I say, I say a lot of things. <laughs> Another thing that I say a lot yeah. is that our smooth jazz family mm -hmm. may be a small family, but we're a loyal family. Mm -hmm. And we have a fraternity of fans and volunteers and radio and mm -hmm. musicians. And it's when we all come together, we have the best time. And the greatest thing about being on stage with musicians and artists that you admire that it's just, and they're also your friends. Yeah. So you've got this exchange of chem uh, chemistry of talent and love and and it makes it magical yeah it really does make it magical. It does. so you have been all over the place and didn't you just say that you and Sharon drove 19 hours <sighs> yes that's why I have these bags under my eyes we just drove from Miami Beach back to New York on yeah. Monday 19 okay. straight hours and uh, because uh, this tour, my spring 2024 tour, started last night in New York and okay. continuing today. And yeah. so we had to get back to kind of um, settle back in home because you know we live in Miami in the winters. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so we're down in Miami Beach for the winter. It's it's a little more forgiving than uh, 20 below zero up here. You know, no <laughs> snow. No. Beach is nice. It's 75, 80 degrees. Okay, that works. And um, so we had to get back here to get settled in yeah. and get ready for. Burks and the okay. tour and everything, you know. So you're going to be going through what, I guess, toward the end of June, right? Yeah, it's from April 11th until June 22nd. Okay. And we're going to be in Portugal for the Algarve Spoon Ooh. Jazz Festival. We're going to be uh, Leesburg, Virginia, coming up this Friday with my friend Tracy Hamlin's okay. Sweet Jazz Festival, and then Jacksonville, and then a couple of shows at Seabreeze Jazz Festival mm -hmm. in Portugal, as I said, and California, Spagatinian, uh, Stockton, San Diego, uh, Richmond, Virginia, uh, Columbia, South Carolina. We have a lot of dates. New yeah. York, of course. Yeah. So, you yeah. Know, so moving yeah. and grooving, moving and grooving, and meeting friends along the way, and having always, a good time, always. and sharing the music, which brings us together. And spreading love, you know. Yeah, spreading love. And you know, we've been talking to a lot of the artists about what makes you happy. So, JJ, what makes you happy? What makes me happy? Mm. 
getting to do this every day of my life. Yeah. Because it's that, and the getting to do the, the this part encompasses so many things. Mm -hmm. The music making, the joy, the sharing of joy, sharing the love, and knowing that it, we're doing something good in the world when we yeah. need it, you know? Putting that out there, isn't that yeah. what that's all about? That's right. Yeah, okay, one final question. Is there something we don't know about you that mm. you think we should know? And if think. you can't think of something, I'm gonna ask Sharon. Well, <laughs> we have talked about my love for bartending. Yes, we and have. And we've talked about my love for cooking. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about my love for love. Yeah. And we talked about, uh, well, I guess I'm a, I'm a huge sports fan. Okay, there you go. I'm a huge sports fan. What does JJ do in his free time? Watch his New York Knicks games. <laughs> Watch his New York Yankee games. And I and my wife and my family, we like to play cards. Oh, well, there you go. Get yeah, playing cards. We like to spend time on the beach. Yep. And we like to eat and drink and spend time with friends and family. That's what. That's really you know. It. That's that's it, isn't it? That's everything. That's really, it is everything. That's it. I it don't is. do anything else other than what I just mentioned. Yeah, and and since you love what you do, do you ever really work a day in your life? They say I haven't worked a day since I can remember, except for the traveling part. That's the part. That's the well, you know, I always yeah. say they pay us to travel, travel. not to play. That's exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what they say. <laughs> We're mm. so glad you're here. However, you got here, and glad that you drove 19 oh, hours. You know, we love you so much, you know. and I'm a fan. And yeah. every time I know that I'm going to see you, I get excited, and I try to stay in touch with you just to make sure you, you know, I'm thinking of you, yeah. and that you hear, you know, if it's not my voice, you see a text that yeah. says, "Hey, it's what's always." Up? Good to hear from you. Always. And, Always good. And thanks for Mrs. everything that you do for all of us. Yeah. And, you know, keeping us, you know, out there with people and well, helping to meet new people. Yeah, and that's, we all come together. And that's what happens here at Burke's Jazz Fest. So we hope to see you here at one of the many shows through the rest of this weekend. And make sure if you are in the area tonight, late night jam, you're going to see them. You're going to see a whole bunch of artists.